Zatima season three, episodes five and six. Let's get into these recaps. So boom, we pick up right where we left off with Zach catching Fatima down in his old neighborhood and he wants to know what she doing there. Now tell me why Fatima starts stuttering. Now Connie got to come in with the assist and she like, oh, she was just asking me questions about your mama funeral. She wanted to know what her favorite color was. Zach looks at Fatima and he like, so you thought that she would know that? And Connie like, I talk to your mama all the time. Why you acting like I ain't know her? Zach like, what y'all talk about? So kind of like we was talking about her getting clean, her dreams. We talked about you. And Zach like, what she have to say about me? And Connie was like, you know, she was just real proud of you. And Zach like, uh-huh, I almost believed you. And Connie like, boy, I ain't got to lie. And Fatima like, I don't think she lying. I mean, think about the video. Your mama left you. Now Fatima want to know what Zach doing down there. And he like, oh, I came to talk to Jeremiah. And Fatima's like, wait a minute. I thought we was doing that together. And Zach like, yeah, you know, that's my brother. He a bit of a laugh. Why are you pregnant? If he say something crazy to you, I might lose it. So he's trying to get to the apartment and Fatima gives Connie a look and Connie comes in with the assist again and she like, um, he not there. And Zach like, how you know? And she like, well, I've been here all day. I've been out all day. And he like, okay, so where is he? And she like, I don't know. I ain't seen him. And he like, okay, well, I'm going to the apartment. Connie and Fatima both like, no. Now, Zach knows something going on with the gun silence. He like, what happened? Somebody talked to me. Why y'all doing this? Why y'all trying to keep me away from him? What he do? And they both like, nothing. Nobody trying to keep you away. And Zach like, oh, it must be real effed up. And when I find out what it is, I'm going to unalive this man. And he like, did he do something with my mama's stuff? They like, no, he didn't do nothing. And Zach like, why y'all covering for him? Y'all know I'm going to find out. Now, save that Angela because she texted Fatima phone to let her know what was going on with Bryce. So, Fatima had called her and Angela was telling her that she think Bryce shot the off himself. So, now Zach and Fatima got to go to the hospital even though Zach don't want to go to the hospital because he really don't care what's going on with the gun was on with Bryce. Over at the barbershop, Belinda is spilling Bryce's tea. She is telling everybody what's going on with Bryce, but Mr. Tyrone could care less. It is clear that Belinda has overstayed her welcome, and he wants her to go. He like, why are you here? Don't you have a job you need to go to? Now, Belinda accused Mr. Tyrone of bringing girls up there so they could sleep with the man, and she said that she ain't no fool. And Mr. Tyrone said, okay, cool. You could be a fool on the other side of the door. I know that's right, Mr. Tyrone, because all she do is talk. Bladdermouth Belinda left just in time because in walks Jeremiah and he is trying to sell a watch. So Tony like, let me see the watch, where you get it from? And Jeremiah like, it really don't matter. Now Tony looking at the watch, he flips it over and it's engraved. And it says, to Fatima from Zach. Now they like, oh my God, this Fatima watch, Zach is going to beat your ASS. And Jeremiah like, she dropped it. She gave it to me. They like, you need to get your story straight. Get up out of here. You ain't getting no money and you not getting this watch back. So Jeremiah like, so y'all jacking me? And they like, yeah, like you jacked her. And Nate is like, what did you do to her? He like, I ain't do nothing. Y'all some B-I-T-C-H's. And they like, get up out of here before I call Zach. And Jeremiah said, y'all scared of Zach, not me. Fatima and Zach make it to the hospital to see what's going on with Bryce. There is still no update. So Angela takes this opportunity and she apologizes to Zach on behalf of Bryce. She like, you know, I'm sorry that he did this. And Zach like, yeah, me too. And Angela going to say to my man, oh, so you didn't want him to do this? Girl. And Zach like, no, I didn't want him to crash his car. And she like, oh, well, he was acting crazy about messing up your money. And Zach like, yeah, he should have. And Fatima like, Zach, stop. So he like, Angela, are you sure that he did it on purpose? You sure it wasn't an accident? And Angela said, I was there. Baby daddy, we saw it. He did it on purpose. So Fatima like, have you called his parents? And Angela like, no, I wanted to talk to him first. And then she said, but I don't know them. And she was like, don't judge me. We wasn't messing around that long. Girl, ain't nobody judging you. So then the doctor comes out and she tells them that they can go and see him. He is okay. He got some bruises, some injuries, but he's fine. And Zach is like, all right, go on back there. Let me know what happened. And of course, Fatima made my man go, even though he didn't want to go. 
So now we in the room with Bryce. He like, I'm fine. Angela like, do you want to talk about what happened? And he like, no. Zach and Fatima walk in and he's like, hey guys, this is embarrassing. I lost control of my car, but it was a rental anyway. And Zach like, okay, that's cool. We can go. And he tells Zach, I sold my car. I was going to give you the money at your mama funeral. And Zach like, okay. If a team would like tell him and he like, oh my God, Preston bailed me out. He bailed us out and he gave me all the money. And Bryce like, I didn't know he had that kind of money. And he's like, yeah, he won 33%. Bryce say that's cool. And he was like, Zach, I'm just really sorry. And Zach said, yeah, we cool. And now Bryce want to hug my man. Oh, he wanted to hug him, hug him, hug him. And Zach like, baby, you are a little too eager to go this hug. We cool. Gotta go. And they left. <laughs> Zach and Fatima leaves, but Angela stayed because she want to talk about what happened. And Bryce like, what you talking about? And she like, you drove into that car on purpose. And he was like, you didn't see that, Angela. And she like, if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. But you should talk to the doctor. And he like, I'm fine. And she like, boy, you tried to hurt yourself. And he was like, it's not that bad, Angela. I'm good. I feel a lot better. And she was like, well, it was that bad last night. And he was like, you know. Thank you for coming, but let's be honest, you don't care about me. And she like, that's some BS. I took off work. I've been sitting out there all day. And he was like, oh my God, did you call my parents? And she was like, how would I do that? And he was like, good, because they wouldn't understand. And she was like, baby, I don't even understand. And he was like, can we just let this go? And she was like, no. And he was like, I'm fine. He got the money now. Everything is good. And she like, okay, well, what about the next time something bad happens? What you going to do then? And he like, I don't want to talk about this thanks for taking off work you don't care about me and she was like you know just because i don't want to be in a relationship with you don't mean i care and he was like yeah well go get the doctor because i'm ready to get discharged and she was like well they not discharging you and he said baby i'm going to discharge myself <laughs> Zach and Fatima still have to plan Miss Gladys' funeral, so they at the funeral home to look at caskets. And, baby, they want $18,000 for a casket. Now, y'all know Zach went off. What the F is this? This a scam. These used caskets. These caskets got scratches on them. And Fatima, like, can you just find something less expensive? And the funeral director say, yeah, your brother said that you might. And Zach said, hold on, wait a minute, my brother. He said, yeah, your brother was here earlier. And Zach said, let me tell you something. I'm planning these arrangements. My brother is a crackhead. Okay, he has a substance abuse problem. And the director said, that makes sense. And Zach said, what happened? And he said, he was asking if you had given your mama any jewelry. He thought you might have sent some jewelry for her to be buried in. And he gave me a watch for her to be buried in. But it was a Rolex and he wanted me to buy it. And Zach like, oh, well, that was fake. Now, Mr. Funeral Director Man was like, nah, it was very real. I done seen some stuff. So Zach like, do you still got it? And the Funeral Director Man was like, nah, he took it because I ain't bad from him. But I did take a picture if you want to see it. And Zach like, yeah, let me see that. And but Tim like, uh-uh, no, 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 we here for your mama. Let's just focus on your mama. And Zach like, oh, okay, cool. But he still want to know where Jeremiah get this Roly from. And then he looks at Fatima wrist and he noticed that Fatima Roly is missing. And he like, um, Fatima, where's your Rolex? Heading straight into episode six, Zach want to know where Fatima watch is, and she said it's at home. Now, the funeral home director sent Zach a picture of the watch, and he is like, this look like your watch. And Fatima said, there's a lot of watches out there that look like mine. And Zach is like, no, it's not, because see, when I bought your watch, it was one of three, so ain't no way. And Fatima said, well, that got to be one of the other two. And Zach is like, do you think my brother stole your watch? And she like, no. And he like, how could you be so sure? And she like, because mine is at home. And Zach is like, I think that this is your watch. And Fatima like, can you calm down? Your brother can really get you worked up. Now the funeral home man comes back and Zach is like, did you get a good look at it? Did it have any engravements? And the man is like, oh, turn the photo over. And what it say? We already know what it said. And Zach was like, well, I be damned. This is your watch. And Fatima is like, can we just talk about this later? And he like, no, what is going on? Why is you covering for this man? 
man. And she like, let's just talk about it when we get home. He like, we gonna talk about it right now. Talk to me. What is going on? You want me to just ignore the fact that my brother stole from you? I'm gonna go get your watch. And she like, let's go home. Let's check the safe before we accuse him of being a thief. And Zach like, yeah, you can do that. I'm gonna go to the apartments. And she like, Zach, I don't want you to do that. And he like, Fatima, why are you lying to me? You said when we got back good, we wasn't going to lie to each other. And you lying to me. If you don't want me to lie to you, then stop gas like me. How he get your watch? So she tells him this fake story that Jeremiah came up to her law firm. And he must have took it out her purse when she wasn't looking. And he was like, yeah, and you didn't notice. You wear this watch every day. And she was like, you know, it was a busy day. And he was like, that's BS. You not telling me everything. I'm going to go get your watch. And she like, no, I don't want you to do that. I'm worried about you. I don't want nothing to happen to you. And he was like, my brother stole a watch that I got for you to show you that I love you. And you want me to just be okay with that. No, I'm good. My man made up. I'm going to go get this watch. Baby, crash out begins. <laughs> Over at Zach's house, Preston is waiting on him to pull up. But Deja pulled up instead with groceries that she need help with because she is struggling. So, of course, Preston helped her with the groceries. Now, he tried to leave him outside, but she want him to come inside. So, he go inside. Now, she start flirting. You really handsome. I usually don't go for vanilla man, but you can get it. And she invite him to the party. And Preston like, okay, here go your groceries. I gotta go. And she like, well, why are you in a rush? Do I make you uncomfortable? What does Zach tell you about me? Did he tell you that I give good head? And Preston like, no. How would he know that? And she like, well, he don't because he all faithful. And Preston like, okay, well, I'm going to get going. And she like, why are you acting scared of me? And he told her, baby, I rope cows. Trust me, I am not scared of you. And she like, well, can you rope me? And he was like, no. And she was like, dang, why not? What's wrong? And he was like, you just a little too aggressive for me and she like i'm aggressive and he like yes just a little and she like man don't like that and he was like some men do but i like my women old-fashioned and she was like no you like a challenge and he was like trust me i had that i don't want it again now deja just won't stop she like oh but well, you never had it with me or a black woman and he was like baby black women are what i'm attracted to and she was like well let me cut to the chase i like to f-u-c-k and i'm good at it now she looking at preston um, uh -huh. and she trying to grab on his mm -hmm. and Preston stopped her and she was like oh you hard and he was like first of all I'm not hard okay Preston and she was like well what I gotta do to see it hard and he said you can start by not trying so hard and she was like well you know man don't really turn me down and he said well this one is period you gonna have to wait on that rodeo now that Zach knows about this watch, Fatima calls Connie to warn her that Zach is on the way. Now, Jeremiah still ain't made it to the hood, and Connie is like, look, he not here. So, Fatima like, okay, well, if he come, let him know to go. So, Connie like, do Zach know everything? And Fatima like, no, he don't know everything. I feel bad for lying to him. I just need him to calm down so I can tell him. Girl, calm was when you ran him that bath and he had that drink in his hand. We are past calm. It is about to hit the fan. Blabbing mouth Belinda to made her way back to the barbershop and she to tricked Mr. Tyrone into telling her the tea. He was telling her how Jeremiah came in after she left and how he stole for Tim watch and he trying to sell it. And Nate and Tony went to the projects and they trying to figure out what's going on with the gun was on. And baby, now Belinda know too. Bryce is out of the hospital and at Angela's house because he needs to apologize to her for the way he was talking to her. And he like, I shouldn't have been talking to you like that. I don't know what's going on with my life right now. And she was like, it's okay. And he was like, no, I was doing so great when I was with you. And she was like, yeah, then you tried to kiss Zach. And he was like, can we move past that? And she was like, I have. And he was like, no, you keep bringing it up. And she like, well, you wanted to talk. And he was like, I wanted to ask if we can be friends. And she like, we are friends. And he was like, without the judgment and the other stuff, I love you. I know you love me. I know I hurt you. And I just want you to see the human side of me and love me. And she like, well, that's what I thought I was doing when I was at the hospital. And he like, I know what I did was wrong. And that's why you got all these men in and out. And she was like, you think I'm sleeping with all these men because of you? And he was like, well, I know you. And she was like, no, I do it because I want to do it. So Bryce is just like, okay, so we friends. And she said, yeah, we friends. So I guess they friends. And Angela said that she is a HOE because she want to be. 
Now, I can't relate, but child, period. <laughs> now, back to the good stuff. Tony and Nate rush back to the hood. They run into Connie. They tell her what's going on with the girl was honest with this watch, but Connie already know. Now, Belinda is there, too. So, Tony is ready to tell Zach. But it's too late. Zach already there. He rushed past them. He going to the apartment. Tony and Nate follow him. Now, Connie and Belinda talking. And Belinda like, oh, please let me be here when this stuff hit the fan. And Connie like, you know, you real foul. And Belinda like, why you keep on coming at me? And Connie like, is this your entertainment or something? And Belinda like, it is what it is. I ain't start this. And Connie like, I thought you said that these was your friends. And she like, well, me and Fatima friends, we just going through something right now. And Connie like, girl, you... You are real raggedy now Fatima pulls up and baby Connie tell her that Tony got her watch and he got it from Jeremiah and she like okay I need to get this watch from him it is not that hard child just call a man to tell him to bring you your damn watch they be acting like this stuff is so hard now back to Zach he is upstairs banging on this door looking for Jeremiah Tony and Nate like he not there Zach like okay well where is he they like we don't know and Zach like do y'all know what he did and they like no what he do and Zach like y'all some bad liars if I find out y'all knew and y'all didn't tell me it's gonna be problems I'm finna off him and they like you need to relax you talking about offing your brother and Zach like what who you talking to now he takes Tony and throw him up against the wall and he was like shut up you had your chance to talk Nate what happened tell me what's going on and Tony like Nate don't and Nate was like baby we don't really know what happened all we know is that Jeremiah did something to Fatima he put hands on her she ended up on the floor and and Zach is like, wait, what? She pregnant and she didn't tell me. And they like, pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. And Zach runs off. And Tony like, Nate, you see what the F you did? Who, Lord, give my baby daddy a lawyer because he is going to jail. But anyway, y'all, that was that on that. I will be back next week with recaps for episodes 7 and 8. So come back for that. In the meantime, between time, watch the videos for my other shows. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's have a conversation down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. I will link them down in the description box. And yeah, it's your girl, Cindy Renee, and I will see y'all next week with another Zatima video. Peace.